Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's it going? Boozer here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, I'm just going to go over real quick the uh, new Hydra rotation. Uh, a little bit late uh, on this video, so uh, I apologize for that. Uh, but we'll just hop into it. I just want to highlight a couple things about the new rotation. Um, and hopefully, um, yeah, you, it'll help you guys out in uh, making teams and uh, hopefully finding some success. Uh, but first, I want to say how nice it is to make a video with no one at home. It feels so much better when you don't have to whisper or, um, you know, worry about, um, worry about, you know, background noise and being too loud and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it feels really good. So hopefully this will be a really good video for you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to hop right into it. So right now the Hydra um, is on rotation one. So rotation one is actually not super uh, crazy bad if you have some key champions. Of course, there's always that if, and of course it involves key champions. So hopefully you guys will have some uh, have some of those uh, champions checked off. So I prepared a little spreadsheet for you guys um, as per my usual Hydra rotation um, videos. I prepared this spreadsheet. So rotation one, we're looking at uh, Head of Decay, who's Force. Um, head of Torment, who's uh, Magic Affinity, Head of Suffering, uh, who is Spirit Affinity, and Head of Mischief, which is also Spirit Affinity. So the key to this rotation will be the Head of Torment and being able to handle this head properly. So Head of Torment is the one that applies fear to your whole team. The easiest and best way above all else is to have a shamail if you have a shamail you cover this head easily not only do you cover this head you make your team better okay and you want this head to pop out all the time your shamail does not need to be geared particularly well uh, to do big damage or anything like that um, ideally to survive uh, depending on the your level of content that you're tackling i did um i always include a handy um cheat sheet of stats for the different difficulties of hydra um, on the right hand side right here you guys will notice right here so depending on where you guys are in hydra you guys can have a quick look at the required stats or the stats that they have and then um, gear accordingly so uh, what else do we have here we have the head of decay which is the cleansing head which is super annoying um, so obviously the most annoying head um, the way to deal with this guy is to bring a provoker or to gear somebody that deals AOE in a provoke set or multiple champions with provoke sets. Um, I did provide a small list, not exhaustive list of champions that you may have that do provide some level of provoke in their kit. Um, the best thing to do is to have multiple sources of provoke. So I recommend three, so maybe one champion in provoke, one dedicated provoker, and maybe one other champion with a low chance to provoke. So that would probably lock down this head pretty easily. Once it's locked down, you only really have to worry about the heal reduction debuff that it casts on your champions. That is also super annoying, actually, and can lead you to uh, lose champions prematurely. So yeah, it's just an annoying head. Um, and yeah, that's why they uh, gave us something to deal with it, Provoker. Uh, anyways, next we have the Head of Suffering, Spirit Affinity. This one's the super tanky head. Uh, lots of uh, defense. It's hard to deal a lot of damage with this. Usually you just ignore this in terms of hitting it unless it, it's eaten somebody. Uh, you bring block buffs to block the reflect damage uh, buff that it puts on itself. And uh, you have to bring a, a touch more stats because it does provide 50 more ac uh, resistance to all the heads. So you have to bring a little bit more accuracy um, to your team uh, or if you're on the edge of accuracy requirements for your difficulty then you might consider uh, using a accuracy lead to make sure you can keep up with uh, the extra resistance that this head brings to the whole hydra team okay um, and the last head is the head of mischief again spirit affinity uh, for this one this one's the one that steals buffs from one teammate uh, from the teammate that has the most buffs so this can be manipulated if you have um, blood shield accessories you can uh, give one um, champion an extra buff which then will uh, bait the head of mischief to attack it 
So there are lots of strategies around this, mainly around having certain champions with more buffs, with enough resistance to stop the head of mischief. If you cannot build uh, this mischief tank, it's called a mischief tank. If you cannot build a proper mischief tank, um, the easiest way to deal with this head is to bring block buffs. So even though the, the mischief would steal the, your buffs, it cannot apply the buffs to itself or the team because it has block buffs on itself. So that's probably the easiest way uh, without doing anything too crazy in terms of gear. Um, although it's not super easy to find block buff champions, I have provided a small list here, not exhaustive, uh, just what I know off the top of my head. Some are better than others. Premium ones include uh, Ugo. Ugo is very premium. Um, I have Ugo as the best epic um, available currently just because of AoE block buffs, AoE defense down, heal, cleanse, and leech. It brings so much more than just damage or something else. Like it's hard to beat Ugo's kit for Hydra. Um, and yeah, and Hex is a kind of a way to help deal with Mischief as well. Mischief is actually not very tanky, dies very easily to damage, but it has a built-in survivability uh, passive where it redirects 50% of hits away from it. So it gets super annoying, but the way to counter that is using Hex. If you apply Hex to Mischief, then you can basically go to town on Mischief. Okay, so if you guys have Hex, uh, Mithral is an easy, easy add. I've, uh, there's not too many that are very good Hex champions. Mishinaki and Tila are, are pretty S-tier uh, AoE Hex champions. They bring lots, lots of damage, lots of utility in their kits as well. And of course, Mithrala. Probably the best AoE Hex uh, application champion. Okay. So that's pretty, basically the starting lineup. On the bench, you have a magic um, magic uh, poison Hydra. The one This one deals a lot of damage. And then you have the force uh, wrath Hydra, which also brings a ton of damage. So if you're lucky, you can totally dodge these two high damage uh, heads and then you just go to town on these four and then they keep spawning each other that's one way to do it um, these heads aren't super threatening in terms of damage um, they will threaten uh, you because they're super annoying so let's say uh, some your shamel gets eaten and then torment starts applying fears all over the place you miss your provokes mischief stealing your stuff and it's just so it's just super annoying it's the four annoying cc heads versus and the two damage heads on the bench so it's it's an interesting like um starting lineup so if you have basically it comes down to if you have shamel how well you're going to start if you don't have shamel you can use the veils uh obviously like duchess rector is the you know um people's <laughs> the people's champion it's an epic it brings a lot revive aoe avail although not going to be perfect she does the job uh, you can bring cleansers like doom priest um the tour also has a, a good veil um but yeah the best and, and of course duchess but the best is obviously shamel okay um, in terms of damage dealers i listed uh, just some generic damage dealers that i that come to mind um, they scale in terms of how good they are depending on what difficulty they are the max uh, damage dealers will be better uh, in higher difficulty, Brutal Nightmare. So we're talking um, uh, Hus, Rogard, Acrisia. They'll be better in the higher difficulties. Geomancer is kind of similar where Geomancer gets better in higher difficulties. In lower difficulties, I do just prefer uh, pure damage. So you can bring like your Nuker. For example, I use my Ethos, which is my Arena AoE Nuker in my Hard Hydra teams. He does pretty good damage by himself. Um, you can bring a Trunda. Trunda deals insane damage in lower difficulties. Uh, rat the rat is actually very solid damage um, Mashal obviously very good uh, Tumisia very good these are just some examples um, I put uh, you know obviously a, a small list of top supports these supports basically go into any team um, and you basically only replace them if you have better supports so Nekmo Nekmo and Krisk I would say are, are the top two supports um, for any any team uh, obviously up to Nightmare and then the others will be uh, a tier below them okay um okay i think that's going to be it for this rotation um i hope you guys at the very least if you guys have shamayo you guys can deal with the, the starting rotation relatively easily uh the provoker is obviously um going to be a problem spot for some people i did try to include some epics or accessible champions here like seeker is actually an excellent excellent provoker and it's only an epic 
Uh, Visix is very serviceable. She's a free champion. Uh, Bivol was a fusion before. Uh, Cantra was a fusion. Cantra is actually really, really good. Um, she's obviously going to be not as good in a team that doesn't help her at all, but she's going to be very, very good all the time. And she's actually a very auto-friendly champion too. Um, these other ones are uh, Skull or Vargal actually is also very good. Very fast cooldown on his Provoke. And these other ones will be have various degrees of um, effectiveness with their Provokes. Um, another area would be the block buffs, which is you basically always, almost always bring block buffs. But there's actually not too many champions that can bring AoE block buff. So if you don't have an Ugo, if you don't have Uko, I mean, your choices are kind of slim. Uh, to be fair, um, like Legendary, Legendary, Lydia is a single target, uh, single target for uh, Rion. Uh, Deliana is a four turn cooldown, so it's not going to be super consistent as well. So, you know, you really need Ugo here. Like, it, it's it's going to be tough, right? If you don't have it, then it's going to be tough. You're going to have to find other ways to deal with, like, Mischief or, like, Hit of Suffering, for example. Okay, so I think it's gonna, that's going to be it. Keep it nice and uh, short and sweet. Um, I'm going to show you guys the teams that I did to complete uh, this week's Hydra that I did. Um, nothing special. Nothing special. I'll just show you guys what I did on my alt. So this team actually was full auto. So obviously Nekmo, super super support champion. Cantra is uh, very good. Uh, max HP with Husk, Ugo, Shameo, and Mithrala. Very good. Uh, super auto friendly team. And then uh, Brutal, Brutal, kind of a similar team. I got Uko, um, obviously great support to build off of a uh, max max HP hit provoker with some healing. You have to can't neglect healing. Somebody has to apply leech or heals or shields to keep your team alive, or you have revivers. Um, Mishinaki, I tried him out. He's actually pretty good. Uh, wasn't like blown away by by his damage or anything. He kept up with Tusk and Brutal, so. Um, yeah, very good, very solid champion. Um, Lydia here, and then Shameo, uh, solid brutal team, full auto. And then finally, I have a hard team. I usually slap some stuff together for hard, and then just kind of have some fun with comps and stuff. But this is my hard team. Nothing, uh, you know, it's just kind of for fun. You don't need it to have all these kind of different OP champions. The damage comes from Ninja and the Rat, and then you just surround them with strong supports, and then they just do their thing. Um, yeah, so you see like nobody else is doing any damage except for, for except for these two. But like I said, you can bring your nuker in here, uh, just support them with like revivers and uh, yeah, full auto. So anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Um, hopefully you guys uh, can pick up something from what I said and uh, best of luck in the Hydra uh, for the month. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.